execute, execute, execute. And that's what people don't do. They don't execute. Making a freaking plan is the easy part. And you have to understand if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your employees. You're cheating your team, whatever you're a part of. It's bigger than you, man. This crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit so sharp, so freezing, so cold When nobody's watching In those early mornings When it's dark It's wet It's cold You feel tired You feel sore It's warm on the couch What do you do then? I know every motherfucker ain't gonna do what I'm gonna do. This is how you level up. I know there's a whole bunch of people with that right there. That fires me up. That brings joy to my life right there. Cause I know there's so many people that have the ability and just refuse to get off that couch. Refuse to study a few more hours. Refuse to go deeper, to go further. And that's where I gain the advantage. No one goes the extra mile and keeps going. I feel like this next generation is coming up. They seem like a bunch of p***ies to me. It's so easy to be great nowadays, my friend, because most people are weak. Most people don't want to go to that extra mile. Most people don't want to find that extra because it sucks. It's miserable. It's lonely. Now I can thrive in this. That's the only place to be. There's never been more opportunity than there is right now. If you're a f***ing savage and you get out there and you grind hard and you want it bad enough, you can run all these guys over that. I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work. And I will work hard. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete. But still I grind. I fail at most things I do. But still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do. But still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. I will be up when my competitor's asleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it. If you guess right now, there's no one looking, man. If no one was looking, I had a chance to sneak in some extra work, to do a little bit more while no one's looking. They'll think I'm, I'm better than I am. So I recommend you do that right now. No one's looking, you're home alone, do more. Do I like the long hours? No. Do I like having to watch a game at three o'clock in the morning? No, but I have to be prepared because I'm addicted to the result. If today you never say good enough, tomorrow you'll always have enough. Championships aren't won in the theater or the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, the labs and the 5 a.m. runs and those rainy when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The Harvard champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. Champions aren't found on the podium with their hand up. No, champions are found in the lab studies, the thousands of hours of hard work when no one's watching. That's what makes the will unstoppable. When you're in here and no one else is, and you're pushing yourself harder than anybody with no one around. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. If you're dusting your countertops, do you dust around the picture frame? Or do you pick the f up and dust the entire thing? Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. How you hold yourself in the small things of life. Build the character winning blocks of the things that we're remembered for. And it begins now with no one looking. How you hold yourself. How you see yourself. What do you do when nobody's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you'll be doing it when everyone's watching. Execute, execute, execute. And that's what people don't do. They don't execute. Making a freaking plan is the easy part. And you have to understand if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your employees. You're cheating your team. Whatever you're a part of, it's bigger than you, man. Nobody wants to do it. That's the thing. When you look at someone and you say that man or that woman has something that I don't have, nobody woke up with that shit. They got it from showing up every day and executing. And especially when they don't feel like it. You think that this just happens. You think I'm going to show up, I'm going to put in my time, and then I'm going to be rich. And that ain't what happens.
Everyone's always looking for other people to do stuff for them. Stop looking for f***ing help from everybody else. It starts and ends with you. You've got to do more. You've got to become valuable. You've got to understand that what you get paid to do is the minimum. And everything on top of that is your investment in your future. So if you're going to stand out, don't do the same thing that everybody else is doing. Separate yourself. You playing against other teams and you're doing exactly what they're doing. Separate yourself. Stop doing what they're doing. If you stop doing what they're doing, you're going to be a champion. Stop following. No more following. No more doing what everybody else is doing. Set the doggone standards. It's time for y'all to set the standard. If you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me, I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. All of us need some area of our lives where we can have a feeling of competence. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that. You do that. And people know it. If you begin to work to develop your gifts, you'll develop a strong sense of happiness. You'll get a larger vision of yourself. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. Everything you do, you do it like this is the last time you're going to do it. If you're in bed right now and you're rolling around and you can't fall asleep, get the fuck up. The fact means you haven't done an honest day's work to earn that rest at night. I can put an honest day's work in here that more than anyone does in a week. And no one sees it. Because it's supposed to be that way. This is a fucking means to the ends. It's not the ends. And you're not in here to get an achievement. You're in here to pay your fucking dues so later in life you never wonder what it. You know what you got to do to get to paradise? You got to fight like fucking hell to get to paradise. The ones that can fight, the ones that come back, those are the ones that succeed. Those are the icons of the world. There's many legends out there. There's very few icons. Do I want to be here right now? No, I don't want to be here right now. I'm much rather be home watching the game. But later down the road, I don't want to always be just watching the fucking game. One day I want to play the fucking game. So by being here now ensures that I'm not going to be a spectator for the rest of my life. That's why I love the fucking game and progress. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grinding is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you. When nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach, when you putting in those extra reps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.